from the swamps of the Ringside Collectibles compound, Hero Figs proudly brings to you the Bludgeon Brothers. <laughs> yes, they are. They are here, and so are their number one contenders at the replacement of the Hero Fig shelves. He said, no, man, keep them in there. Sorry, dude. You guys are going to get, you know what? We're going to find out. I'm almost positive. They're, they're getting replaced. We know that Rowan right here with that sheep mask is going to bring it all here. Right here from the figures in the line, we got Kurt Angle, AJ Styles. We did review both of those. So if you did miss out on that, go on the channel. And we still have Nikki Cross and Kevin Owens. They're all up at Ringside Collectibles. Discount code here will save you 10% at checkout. Sheep mask is the thing that I've been wanting out of this box for so long. Ever since we got this all unboxed the other day, I just wanted to rip through this. We we're going to find out, you guys. Let's see if we can actually see through it. Let's see. The lens right there, it's, look, it's just painted on, man. Come on. I wanted to use this as a little peaky hole. That's cool, dude. I like that mouthpiece. You see that tubing that's going from one end of the face to the other? That is lit, man. Look at that lit. What is that thing right there? I think that's the little device that it needs to end up refueling if he needs air. One side, it is missing the ear. As you can see on the right side, it's completely all ripped off. On the left right here, it is partially missing a piece, but for the most part, the entire the entire ear, it's all there. On this side, there's nothing to it, but you can see that it's all sculpted right there for that to sit on the figure nice and flush. That's awesome, dude. Been wanting this mask for way too long. This figure, oh gee, let's get this out. We're not going to use Nike for this. We are just going to go ahead and rip it all out. We are going to get uh, back to Elite Series 65, know this. I know some of you may be asking, but I wanted a bit, oh you guys, these figures right here for me they've been a long time in the making here's the hammer the thor hammers will no longer be required the hands that you're seeing right there for the interchangeable ones they are too close-fisted and the ones that are on there are open hand and it's rightfully so you're gonna need something to hold this mallet there it is. There's the logo. There's the Bludgeon Brothers logo. You're going to see it not only in the hammer, but also around the waistline, at least for uh, for Eric Rowan. Luke Harper, he doesn't have that style of belt. The rest of the mallet right here, it does have writing going all the way down towards the bottom to the actual handle. This is really detailed, you guys. I like the sculpt right here. That's really nice, man. Down here towards the bottom, that thing is looking sick, man. On this side right here where they actually use the parts to smash it, that is painted black right there. It's a nice little accessory. This thing is sick. Before I take off this rope, I want to put this mask on it so we can get the full effect of the actual figure. I think this is the way that I'm going to... At least until, you know, they get health or one of them gets healthy. I think it's... Is it Harper? I think it's Harper. Once, uh, you know, he gets healthy, yeah, we're, you're going to see this on the shelf just like this. Now... As far as the, the actual mask sitting on there, you gotta play, you gotta mess around with it a little bit. Let's pull it real quick. And as you can see, the only way that you're gonna get that mask to sit on there, it won't stay on there if you don't have this little, uh, hood drenching over the, the face. The only way that it's gonna stay on there, you guys, there is a hole right here on this top piece where you shove the ear through. That's kind of what's holding it all in place. This is all, it comes into all into a one piece right there, and that's how it's gonna stay on there. That sculpt design that you're seeing right there on the actual figure, you're seeing it all over this coat. On the back, you're getting uh, two black marks on, as in, yeah, it's just on the one side. But the rest of the mask right there, this is cool. So, obviously, you know, if you plan on displaying it, it's going to have to be with the actual trench coat if you want to have the mask. Because otherwise, it won't stay on there. It's You're going to keep, I mean, it will, but you'll have to kind of have it like angling up, and that's not how it's supposed to be. You see how easily that just pops off? You're going to have to put it through that uh, little hole insert right there. Now, the rest of the coat right here, I want to cover the rest, because as you can see, they, this is what I'm talking about. I think the, most of the budget for this line was invested in the Bludgeon Brothers. I can see where all the time that was taken. Like, how did they manage to do that? Did they go knock, you know, in the Bludgeon Brothers door? Dude, we got to check out your coat. We want to make sure that if we're going to put you in figure form, we get all the right stitch work right. That thing is amazing, dude. The detail on this is just incredible. I think both of the jackets might be identical. No, they're not. I'm actually noticing that for Luke Harper right here, you're getting more of a pronounced red on the coat. And then this one right here, this is more pronounced black on the bottom side. So it's like vice versa. Once you do take the coat off right here, the belt right here that you're seeing, it is a removable piece, but he never wore it with it off. So... I don't know. I think if we're going to pose, I think if you want to get some like some serious poses in your action figure displays, you might have to remove it then. But as you can see right there, it's held together by this waist right there, this waist strap. Kind of like the um, 
the shirts, like the rubber shirts that they do where they do the, the inserts right there, that's the way that it comes together. They did still sculpt the crisscross, like, because this is actually how it comes out in real life. This is actually what brings the belt together up front right there. There's that same logo that we saw with the hammer, with the mallet. Man, that thing is amazing. I am going to take it off, though, so you guys can take a, uh, see, get a closer look of the actual shirt. The rest of the pants right there, it's got the, uh, would you call this a T? It almost looks like a T. Triple T, if you're watching this, my dude, let me know if that's a T. You got to bring it real close to bring that together and make, you know, actually have a form of T. The kick pads right here, they, these things are just on their right. You can see that the straps to them right there are wrapping all around the lower leg right there on both sides. Man, this figure is just amazing. This is kind of almost reminding me of that one figure that we got. What was it? The Boogeyman? The Boogeyman had a lot of this nice texture to the pants. So once you pull that off right there, this is where you're getting with the top. The top right there, this is all sculpted too. It's not just painted. You can actually feel the rise of the shirt right there as the creases come through the back. As well as on the sides. As you see the studs right here around the shirt. These are all sculpted. This is all sculpted from, you know, from the scratch. I think this is the same torso, actually, that we saw with, uh, with, with both elites prior to this. But, again, the shirt right here, everything. All the wrinkles right there, it's not just painted. They wanted to make sure they added that real effect. Here's the wrist straps. They come all the way up to the elbow on both sides right there. And the head scan, dude, this thing is just mean looking. Like, the guy is angry that he hasn't, is it, I think it's going to be going on six months here since we've seen him on TV. Man, this figure though, oh geez, this in that, uh, I don't know dude, yeah, we're going to, don't worry, we'll bring the whole wave together once we get the last two reviewed from the series, and I'll give you my overall thoughts as to which ones are the best. Here he is, here is Harper, Luke Harper, the other half. I think it is, you guys. Let me know in the comment section. Let Knifey know that Harper is the one that has been injured. I think it is. I, I think Eric's good to go. And I think he might still be wrestling, you know, like for house shows, but not on actual live TV. Now, let's get Luke Harper out right here. And I, he's going to be out. Give me that, man. Give me that hammer. I'm so glad, dude. And Thor, he's in, if you guys don't know, I like collecting Marvel Legends. He's going to be pretty happy to get his hammer back. Now, whereas I think for this one, we are going to need, come on, there you go. The same for the hands for this one right here, the interchangeable ones. They are the two close-fisted, the ones that are on the figure right there. Also, open hand, just like his brother. Are they brothers? I think they're just friends. Here's the, uh, I want to put the hammer on you. I want to show you the difficulty on it. You are going to have to pry it open a little bit in order for that to fit on there. But once it does, it'll stay on there real well. So they'll be bashing and thrashing their competition on the SmackDown roster. Exact same piece from what I'm seeing right here. Same identical accessory right there. The jacket right here. So as you can see, like I was telling you guys uh, earlier on the video, the design right here, it's it, it's opposite. So you're getting more of the red right here on the bottom versus up here. You're getting more black. The rest of it right here, you are getting some greens too around the left arm right here. The right, it's all completely ripped off. He's showing he's... Wait, hold on. Did that end? No, it, oh, it did. Check it out. My bad, you guys. We got to show you the back. So as you can see right there, the B right there for the Bludgeon Brothers on uh, Luke Harper, it's more tore up towards the top, and you're seeing the full B right there with Eric. So And then also the, the piece right here towards the bottom, you're getting like a green versus the red. So the colors, man, it's just... It, they got a really good mixture on both to give it its own unique look to it. But ultimately, at the same time, once you do, uh, before I take it off, I want to show you what the head scan looks with the with the actual cape on. It's sitting on there pretty good, dude. I think how the hair and they got everything in there right. It's just sitting on there so nice, dude. I know we're always complaining about rubber, but we can't. Now with this jacket, now with, and, and they are fairly easy to take off too. I want to point that out right now if you're wondering how difficult it is. There is no, you're not hearing Hero Fig struggle or sigh when it comes off. It just slips right off. So he's ready, dude. Now the rest right here, this one is, again, the, the shirts. If you, if, I know it's been a while since we've seen the Bludgeon Brothers, but they all have their own look to them. I know the colors are very similar, but for uh, Harper right here, you're getting all the black splattered throughout. Also, all sculpted, not just painted. You can feel the rises in all throughout the front as well as the back right there. It looks like on the front, it's more pronounced with the black, at least up towards the top areas. You can see by the chest area, you're getting more up here versus on the back side. On the back side, there's really not much going on. For the sleeves, you're only getting it for the right side for Harper. On the left, it's just a wristband right there. 
the rest of the pants right here almost similar actually i think they are yeah they are they're the exact same things the belt the that's the difference that i'm noticing i'm seeing that with harper we're seeing the buckle right there versus how it's just all black right there for rowan on the back two identical solid figures i have to tell you this right now these two this whole wave you guys i We've I know I've said this before, but this wave is looking pretty solid going forward here into 2019. Love the set, you guys. I'm going to tell you this right now. That Harper, that's also breaking the Hero Fix Richter scale. That thing is getting a solid 12. For Harper, sorry, for Rowan, he's getting a solid 12. And then for Harper right here, I'm going to give him a 10. And the only reason you're not getting, you know, past the Hero Fix Richter scale is because of this sheep mask. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.